How you two friends? It's Gene from Morris Patch of Heaven and today is day two of our cattle panel greenhouse and if you haven't seen part one just click right up here and you can watch that video and we're gonna get started on finishing out uh, the doors and the windows and putting the plastic on today. Okay, so I just cut my boards for my door frame here and I kind of rounded them off. I see I rounded them off at the top on both sides and uh, then I got the brace over the top. I rounded off a little and now we're going to screw it in.
Okay, now I'm working on the back half of the greenhouse and I'm going to be putting a window in right over here. And Joyce liked an antique door on the greenhouse so we found one and uh, there's the inside there then we'll put mulch on the ground and put our shelves in and all we need to do now is put the plastic on That'll be our final step. Okay, I finally got the uh, window side done. And now all we have left is to put on the plastic. So let me show you what we've done so far. Okay, right now I'm just tacking down the plastic and I'm stretching it out real tight on both sides and I'm just going to work my way uh, all the way around and get the plastic on real tight and then I'll cut off the excess and uh, I'll have that loose board there where I can uh, undo it at any time during the summer and we can roll the plastic up to let in a more uh, cooler air in the summer when needed. So that's why I'm not driving the nails all the way down.
I lost my helper Jedediah. He's out somewhere trying to catch a chicken hawk with his 22. And he's having a blast. But I really could use his help now. Jedediah, where are you? Okay, so now we're getting the inside ready to lay some bark chips. But first we're gonna put in some land landscape fabric. And I'm gonna roll it out and to help keep the weeds at bay and so once I get this all down I'm gonna put in some bark chips Now that I got the plastic on, I'm going around and putting these one by twos around the trim to help hold down the plastic, just make it a little sturdier. Okay guys, the greenhouse is done. Woo! -hoo. And I want to show you uh, everything that we did inside. Now we used this um, piping cover that you can buy at Lowe's. And that's to help protect the edges from uh, the plastic being torn on the cow panels. And Joyce wanted an antique door, so we picked that up at the antique uh, store for $20. And then we have a window, we bought an old window, and we picked that up for $3. And then we're putting down the bark chips inside. And we're putting lights in up top there. And I put these uh, furring strips, furring strips uh, all along the front there, one by twos, help support the plastic. And then around the frame, I used uh, I used two by fours. You can use two by sixes, uh, whatever you have. But I used 2x4s in the plans that I saw on a YouTube channel. And then down here at the bottom, 
uh, we're going to uh, I use the first strips for now pine strips and we're going to use the wiggle wire I'm gonna add that in later so I can roll these up uh, in the summertime when it gets really hot and you can see I use these uh, stakes for extra support and here's the back side again and I haven't trimmed all the plastic on the bottom yet but I'm gonna do that as soon as I put in my wiggle wire make sure I have enough well there you have it uh, I'll put in the description below all the materials I used and we spent about two hundred fifty dollars the plan said 150 but you know that never happens but uh, anyway uh, it took us took me about two days and uh, it was a, a fun project and if I can do it anyone can do it and we're looking forward to starting our starts and also utilizing the greenhouse uh, all year long and through the winter and so until next time guys uh, if you enjoy the channel please like and subscribe and share with your friends and until next time God bless you all goodbye